Hey Carthage Firebirds, this short video is going to show you how to use copy leaks inside of Schoology. Copy leaks allows you to detect originality and paraphrase content in student work. So let's go about creating an assignment. So you're already in your Schoology class, so go ahead and choose the folder or the place where you want to put this assignment. So I'm just going to click on week two. I'm going to go up to add materials. And on the right hand side, you should see something here that says copy leaks assignment. Go ahead and give it a title. So I'll just call this rough draft. Give it a due date. And I'll say it's got to be due today at, let's say like 1110. This part's kind of funky to well, about 1108, and you can change this right here as well. You know, if you needed to, to change it, you can just go ahead and type it in there. And you can go ahead and like give it a score here as well. But just to let you know, that score will not be transferred back um, to Schoology. Oh, I actually better change this to 1110 to allow me to actually have a student submit something. I'm going to give a brief description right here. Please submit your paper. And do you want to allow submissions after the due date is passed? That's up to you. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you know, you could upload like another file of something, like if you had some additional instructions here. So I'm going to go ahead and submit. So just hang with me here. I'm going to flip over to the student view of what this looks like. And by the magic of hitting pause and record again, I'm logged in as Test Mississippi. And here's week two. And click on week two, I see the assignment here. I'll click on rough draft. Scroll down a little bit. I'm gonna upload that file. And the file that I'm gonna upload is this. It's called the uh, negative impact of social media is the assignment that Jay Mississippi just did. And it tells me that the file has been submitted successfully. It's been submitted like on time here. And it's gonna go ahead and it's gonna take a while for, for it to score. So I'm gonna flip on back over to the faculty side. So hang on, please. All right, so let's see how this student did. So I'm logged back in as the faculty member. I'm gonna click on week two right here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on rough draft. And of all the students who submitted their papers, all their names would, would appear right here. So here's Jay Mississippi. Uh, he's got a score of 99.4%. That's not gonna be good. And so when I click on his name, that allows me to actually click on the paper and bring it up right here to open up the report. I could also download the original Microsoft Word document if I wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and open up that report. And it tells me, you know, the scan was seven minutes ago, 11 results. You know, you can obviously see there's a lot of similarity here. Uh, most of the time when, when you're looking at student papers, you know, for a typical research paper, it wouldn't be uncommon to see anything between, you know, zero and, and, and 20%. You know, once it gets above that 20% mark, you know, sometimes it's worth, you know, taking that, that extra look at it. And so, you know, obviously um, I'm using a paper that has a very high identity match. And so there's a couple of different ways that you could filter some things here. So, you know, from the, the match results right here, you know, if I clicked on that, um, you know, I can tell like, you know, like, yeah, this paper has been submitted a lot of times to, to CopyLeaks internal database, probably by other people. So it tells me that, yeah, a lot of stuff isn't good here, but, you know, if I wanted to uncheck some of these, I, I could, this is just where the results were found. Um, but the other thing that you might want to do for some papers, if I go up to the right hand side here and just click on settings, um, you know, maybe I don't want to see minor changes or related changes. I just want to see, you know, everything that's identical. So I'm just going to choose identical and this isn't going to change very much here. So, you know, so it's just going to cross out the minor changes and the related, you know, meanings right here. And, um, just gives me something a little different to, to look at, especially if I'm looking at, you know, things like paraphrasing and, and, and things of that nature. 
So I'm going to take one more moment here and flip back over to the student side. So once again, I'm logged back in as the student, and the student should be able to see that same kind of grade report. If I click on week two right here, I'm going to click on rough draft. And, you know, here's the plagiarism score right here at 99%. I'm thinking I'm probably going to get an email from my faculty member at some point about this. And so the student's going to see the exact same um, match that, that you see, you know, which is, which is good because they can see, you know, what areas need to, to be worked on. And obviously because this is a, um, was submitted as a rough draft, you know, using something like copy leaks, you know, kind of like for that first big rough draft, first big revision, using it at some point before that final revision or that final submission, um, you know, definitely helps, you know, catch some inconsistencies or areas that, that you might need to work on with that student. And I think that's about it for copy leaks. So other than that, have a great day and go Carthage Firebirds.